I would call directus as a combination of hasura that gives you shortly instant quickly cached graphql api out of the box plus strapi that is a modern headless content management system for quickly managing a content but it's a bit better i would maybe call this side of the cms maybe more like a react admin or some other quick uh, admin panel builders or why not some uh, out of the box grids like ag grid but let's take one by one so basically hasura and directus both are like a backend as a service you have uh, some database structure uh, for example in this example we can see there's articles table and then you install directus directus will just create its own tables it won't touch your existing uh, database schema and it will just sit on top of your existing postgres databases and re uh, relations you can anytime uninstall the directus delete all the directus tables and your system is untouched you just have out of the box api that you would probably spend hours and hours and hours to build it in Node.js, Laravel, Django, whatever framework you wish. Hasura is a bit older, been using it about two years by now, and it's got also about $10 million of investment in the beginning of uh, last year. So it's super stable. I haven't seen any bugs in Hasura. In Directus, it just works blazing fast, the admin panel, but uh, it's pretty new and for the big systems i would use directus and hasura both just for stability uh, for smaller projects it's perfect because it it will save even more on cost because you just have one system for both for the instant api and also admin panel uh, it also gives you REST API. Well, GraphQL is just better because if you're not really building your uh, API yourself, but rather using it out of the box, GraphQL doesn't need different versions. Now, uh, Strapi has been our main CMS uh, because it's headless. Uh, it's open source, like all other tools mentioned. It's fully customizable. You can set the relations and everything and get real custom system to edit your content. Hasura has just very, very basic console for editing data. If you open uh, in Hasura some kind of table, it will look for all the content the same. There will be ID, first name, last name, email, for example. If you take another table, it looks exactly the same. You can't customize its look and feel. Now here are where here's what the directus comes in in directus you will have really different field types see the video uh, where um, someone else from youtube is showing for example the grid view now let's configure what this uh this layout looks like this is how we're visualizing our articles so quickly we want to maybe uh, we can choose between cards tables there's other layout options available as well let's go ahead and move status to the beginning and then title obviously is pretty important. So we'll do a title next. Um, and yeah, this looks, this looks pretty good. And now we can actually hover over the column headers and shrink this down. All of, all of this configuration is being saved to keep in mind how powerful these layouts are. We can actually go in and switch it to a cards view, update the title and the subtitle to show any fields that we want. These use the displays that we just configured. You can actually see uh, the relational time here uh, being used five minutes ago. This image first way of seeing things is really helpful uh, depending on the data you're looking at. And we can adjust the size of these cards. And you have uh, fully customizable. You can choose if there is title shown or no. You can choose if the title is right side of the image or the image is in the right side the status 
in the databases might be just stored as one and zero, but you show that if it's one, then it's a green. If it's zero, then it's a gray. Date created is not the uh, ugly timestamp. It's it will be, uh, for example, how many minutes ago, or how many days, or how many hours ago it was changed. So its look and feel is fully customizable. You can really quickly create professional looking. Uh, admin panels that are fine for absolutely non-technical users to start using. Well, some more examples have tags. Tags come from a different table, so it's relational. You don't need to open up the tags. You, you just open up posts and under the posts, you can create new tags and you can add already existing tags to this particular post. You can have a drop down, which can have different statuses. So you don't type in manually, you pick from a drop down if it's published, if it needs review, if it's unpublished, if it's deleted, whatever statuses you wish to add to your whatever uh, data types. At this case, we're talking about posts in this example. You can have a rich text editor. You can upload easily with drag and drop pictures, your files nicely stored here under in the left file library. You can uh, have uh, folders, for example, we have here freelancers and project files, two subfolders created. It has a powerful user access management. You have here different roles, admin, our website, our managers, and just for testing too. Roles and permissions are very advanced, as also in Hasura, but um, here it just looks a bit more nice, basically. There's also a public. Public is uh, anybody from outside of the world who can access your API. Crew New Web is our own website. Um, you can set for every table if it will be, if the, you can create, read, update, or delete it. At this case, our website has access to create new records to contact us table and um, customers table and leads from web table. But for example, contents, where we have all the content of our website, content, text, the pictures, and everything like that, there's a limited access. Let's open it up. And uh, you can see there's access for all the fields, menu, index, keyword, meta description, everything. But created that, there's no access. We don't find that our website needs to access that. So yeah, very powerful control of different access. But yeah, Azura has it also. So basically the main difference is that you can build also a, a nice admin panel. So to sum it up once more, I would call a directors a new, brand new solution that combines in it Strapi, and Hasura. It works well, but during the building process, I've hit some errors, although I'm pretty new to directors. So if it's a enterprise level solution, I wouldn't probably use directors for instant API yet. I would use Hasura for it and I would use directors as admin panel generator if it fits, if the relations are not too complicated, of course, the solution should be picked depending on the exact needs.